so what's up everybody black clover 338 translations are out this chapter was really good it was a nice reveal at the end the person that we knew as yami this whole entire time that was just his last name we figure out that his real name is actually sikiensko sorry if i mispronounced it but it's crazy how like even now we're learning more about yami and just seeing how the land of the rising sun is is very interesting so let's get into this black clover 338 review First of all, if you like anime, manga reviews, discussion, spoilers, and theories, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, like the video, like, comment. So we should hit him with a false copyright strikes. Let's get this channel back to 5,000. So this chapter was very interesting in the sense that we got to learn so much about Yami and, and his homeland. We figure out that the woman that has been at Ryua or Ryu's side is literally Yami's sister. We figure that Yami's name isn't really Yami. That's his last name. We also learn about the land of the rising suns basically power and how they use magic or mana so the chapter basically starts off where 337 ended asa finally gets his head around that he's actually in the land of the rising sun yami's homeland he realized that oh wow he's in a foreign land but he's so far away how is he able to come back ryuda or ryu because he wants to be called that moving forward he's saying that lucius is not making his move anytime soon which there's been a couple of theories and a couple of videos in the black clover community anime's bought deep made this video and it's basically about ryua is going to create a boat that's able to cross continents. I wouldn't be surprised if he does do that because he seems a little bit too lax. But of course, from what we're seeing, he's able to see the future. Something similar to Julius slash Lucius power. So it makes me think, does he have anything to do with Ostroff? Is it possible that he did a contract with Ostroff and got his eye? Something similar to what happened with Asta. How Asta wanted more power and he traded his arm to get basically a devil arm. Is it possible that Ryua, because he wanted to see as a shogun his country and make sure he made the right decisions did ryu do something similar to asa's contract with libe in this chapter you'd see that ryu uh, saves this woman and child from the bandits attacking and he knew where exactly the bandits were about to show up that's why he moved them out the way so this chapter really puts some mystery around him and asa noticed that too that ryu uh, can basically see the future i'm just gonna call him ryu moving forward because that's what he wants to be called asa has ryu you said you're a shogun, but what is even that? Ryu responds, that title is similar to like what the Wizard King is in your country. Asta is figuring out, wow, he's the Wizard King, but he can't sense any magical power. He doesn't seem that strong. I'm still going to have a hard time calling Yami's actual name. I'm still trying to figure out like what to call Yami at this point because Yami is not Yami. <laughs> that's not his first name. That's his last name. So bear with me and basically the whole fandom as we try to change that habit to call Yami by his first name. Asta is basically saying, I can't can't sense any magical power from you. You don't seem that strong. Yami's sister shows that she is Yami's sister. She has that same death stare and I'm guessing that's like a family trait. It would be hilarious to see Yami's parents and see that clan. They all had that death stare. That would be so funny. I definitely could see Tabata writing that joke but still it's kind of weird how Yami is in a foreign land but he never contacted back his family so I wonder if Yami's sister knows how he's doing. Does she know he's alive? Is there somehow he has some type of communication all this is kind of weird like why did yami decide to stay in the clover kingdom did he just like how the clover kingdom is he got more opportunities i kind of wonder what's the situation there and is it possible that the reason why yami's still in the clover kingdom maybe has to do with ties with family because maybe yami's family the yami clan they basically are the right hand of whatever political leader is currently in power because technically yami was julie's right hand and william vengeance was his left hand in a sense and then we see this with yami's sister who seems to be like the right hand of the shogun so maybe that's a possible case yami's sister says watch your mouth don't speak disrespectfully to ryu asama outsider and then asta like he kind of has that same reaction as he does with yami especially during the beginning of the series it gives us kind of like a throwback in a sense how asta was so scared of yami and now he's seeing his little sister and he's still having that same reaction the family is just full of crazy strong intimidating people asta 
note is that he can tell by her key she really dislikes him or she's really mad at him but she also seemed familiar and he feels like he shouldn't go anywhere near we would basically tell us that hey you're shocked to wake up in a foreign country you thought you're basically dying but hey you're here let's do some sightseeing and i love how tabata drew these panels i told y'all he was going to do a lot of effort in how tabata drew the land of the rising sun you can see that he put a lot of effort into the houses the textures of the roof is so beautiful you're seeing the national pride in this and when you guys mention tabata is basically telling us in a way that western society ideals like western religion in a sense is not as superior towards the eastern philosophies or eastern japanese religion in a sense because how asta just literally got defeated by a pseudo angel even with the power of the devil which the clover kingdom the devils in that system kind of looks like a western influence versus obviously the land of the rising sun has a japanese influence a japanese twist to it so it's eastern basically tabata is saying that eastern philosophies are better or somewhat superior to western ideologies if you look into it in a sense once again i apologize for the bad audio but i don't agree with it in my opinion i think he's not saying that i think he's just trying to emphasize japan in black clover this does seem like this is the time of japan during the time of isolation wonder is the reason why if yami couldn't contact his family back in the hino country is because of the isolation act or the isolation policies that the land of the rising sun has and i wonder because ryua is a shogun is it possible that ryua could in the future open up more communication to other continents there has to be a reason why yami didn't come back and to me honestly i think it was just lucius or julius manipulating yami to not letting him come back to his family but we'll see asta is going around the land of the rising sun asta is just basically the typical sightseeing saying he never seen this in the clover kingdom the interesting part here you're seeing like scrolls being opened up and then you're seeing water and fire birds so it's confirmed that they do use magic in the land of the rising sun instead of it being called magic it's called sorcery so now it is sorcery not magic so in the spoiler video i thought there wasn't any magic source or anything like that but you guys pointed it out to me and also in the fan translations we're seeing that there is magical power in the land of the rising sun but instead of calling it magical power it's called sorcery power so that's basically where that's coming from us is getting reminiscences of his homeland he sees a fruit as similar to what is mainly grown in the hodge village and then asta sees a kid and then he has a flashback of him and yuno with sister lily and then he just been reminded that sister lily became this paladin this person that wants him dead and this is the part that i was talking about earlier ryua seems to have like a really strong vision to see the future because he basically talks to the mother and child and he says hey come here take a look over here and then the bandits blow up the place and they show up it's crazy how he's able to see the future similar to how julius does i think ryu and might have done a deal with osra because it seems like he might know a little bit about devils because apparently libe is getting healed we haven't seen libe yet so i wonder how he's getting healed the bandits all have like swords and if you see the bandits they have like energy coming out of it one has like a club and it looks like it's fire coming out it's similar to how yami uses magic in the clover kingdom i know i did say that maybe there's a possibility that lucius might have implanted something in yami for him to get a grimoire but i think the reason why yami got a grimoire is because he was in the clover kingdom instead of land of the rising sun if he was in the land of the rising sun he would end up getting a scroll versus a grimoire so maybe there's a possibility that if yami comes to his homeland he gets a scroll so then he has a scroll and a grimoire asta says no matter where you go there's bad guys as well as asta realizes that ryua didn't save these people by accident he was able to move them before anything were to happen to them with that explosion so also starting to realize that ryu has some special ability and one of the bandits he's like what are you though and then ryu says no need to be alarmed you're probably i can tell i got no sorcery power whatsoever and also shocked with a couple other villagers you was saying that is very interesting because ryu is saying that he doesn't have any magical power he's powerful but i think the reason why he's powerful is because he has key maybe people 
people who have a natural affinity to Ki are born with foul mana. Who knows? Maybe that might be Asa's edge besides using anti-magic from Libe. But something about this that Ryu doesn't have any sorcery power whatsoever is going to be meaningful in the future. Maybe he's just suppressing his power so nobody can sense it. Or maybe he doesn't actually have any mana or sorcery power at all. I can't wait to talk to explains this. Only time will tell. We finally get a name for the woman that's been by the side of Ryu. Ryu basically says, hey, I'll leave this all to you, Ichika. Ichika says, as you wish. She has that same facial expression on Yami. It's hilarious. The bandits are being typical shonen bad guy, being overconfident and just judging the person by appearance, not actual fighting capability. The bandit said, hey, you're sending a slender girl here. I guess she's going to keep us company. Ichika says, don't touch me. And then you see, from what I think it's key, because you see like a flow of power, not only in her eyes, but also going through her arms. And it looks like Asta is noticing this. And then she attacks all the bandits, basically all simultaneously. She's like super fast. And you see like this dark aura behind her. Some of you guys have been saying that this probably is the ability of the Yami clan. That's why Yami, the person, not the actual clan, has dark magic is because of this. It's their family trait to be able to use black aura or dark aura. Quickly, within a single flash, you see all the bandits on the wall and you see scrolls falling off. So it looks like it's basically how Yami is in the Clover Kingdom. He is a magical swordsman in a sense. The way Yami's fighting style is, is very similar to how these bandits are. Scrolls and grimoires are very similar and people, in order to use their powers, they have to have their scrolls around. That's what it looks like to me. Asta is like, whoa, I can't believe what she just did it looks like her key just sold up tenfold and then there's that darkness someone says like yeah she's one of the seven reason sorry if i mispronounced that it's probably similar to like the captains in the clover kingdom and then someone says you are the best yami asa's like yami you can't be and ichika grabs asta by the face similar to how yami did in like chapter two she has the same face as well this is so reminiscing to like the first couple of chapters she goes don't approach me so casually outsider ryu basically says to asta ichika is yami's younger sister if you want to get stronger go train by them the seven ryuzen and ichika's like ryu might be looking out for you but i really hate men like you you know, I wonder what she means by that. Maybe Asta reminds Ichika of Yami. Who knows? I mean, Asta has been influenced heavily by Yami. But it's also interesting how Ryu is basically looking out for Asta in this foreign land. Yami's sister probably dislikes Yami. I can't wait to get the backstory of Yami's clan. It's gonna be awesome. So that's basically all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this chapter. Do you like that we got the reveal of Yami's sister? Why do you think Ryu doesn't have any magical power or sorcery power? Do you think Asta him have some type of connection do you think it's possible people without mana are able to learn key a lot faster and able to master it better do you think ichika used a advanced form of key to take down those bandits all right like if you like the video comment subscribe and i'm out of here